Hi everybody, happy Monday. I hope your day so far is going great. So I just wanted to um, let you guys know that when you come to the classroom on Friday to pick up your report cards and your art from Ms. Misha's all in a little art portfolio and all of your writing is in a folder as well. Also in that bag is going to be your pig. So this is how we left our pigs at the beginning of all of this. So we got through the paper mache and then I glued on your feet. Miss Cindy helped you glue on your ears. And now I wanna show you what's next. So everybody's pigs have one of these. these. This is how we hung it up in our classroom, like this. And in at the end of this is a balloon knot. So you'll just pull that out tight and cut off the balloon piece right underneath the knot like that and it'll come off probably easier than that so then you have this now you can hear it crackling because the balloon is pulling away from the paper mache on the inside can you hear it it sounds like um that snap crackle pop rice crispy cereal so anyways we got that off so now this is going to become this the place for his spout and um, in your bag, you're going to find, um, some of you are going to find some caps. If you don't have a cap, this is the kind that you use. I don't have enough for everyone. Um, this is like um, an apple juice cap. This is like an apple sauce lid. This is like a mail lid. You can even use something smaller if you want. A Gatorade lid. Um, another cap like this is probably lemonade I think came in this so any of these will look super cute so you just put them right whoops you'll just put it after you get um, it hot glued you'll put everything you'll put it right there and it'll look super cute so there's that one or if you choose a smaller one just looks like that um, a bigger one looks really cute too so you can use a peanut butter lid whatever these are all plastic i think the metal ones would be too tight so you just are gonna do that so you'll put your um hot glue right around this rim part have your parents or older sibling help you so you don't burn your fingers so you'll take it and you'll put it right on top of it like that and hold it until it dries so then you'll have your snout on and then you'll need to start painting. So you'll need pink paint. I didn't have any pink paint, but Riken Ma, Riken's mom gave me some hot pink magenta. And I'm just going to mix it, tone it down with some white. So you don't have to have pink. You, can, you guys know about mixing colors. We've learned that. And I'm just going to put some in like this. And I'm going to mix up that pink and white. And get a softer pink because I want my pig to be a softer pink than that so mix it all up you're gonna need a lot because you're gonna have to do two coats you're gonna have to do one coat that will cover up the print a little bit but then um, you'll after that dries you'll want to do another print to make sure that you don't see any of the newspaper print underneath it so you get it all mixed up and then you just start somewhere and go for it you'll need to paint your um, ears and you'll need to paint your legs you don't have to uh, or your feet you don't have to do the bottoms because no one will see those but um, yeah just do those sides so we'll end up looking like uh, the one that I did as a sample so let's get him over here so you just keep painting and painting and you paint the ears and you paint over the snout and then this is just um sharpie two lines of sharpie and then i just painted the feet but not the bottoms and inside your bag you're also going to have um some eyes so after you get it all painted you will hot glue your eyes on right on top of your snout and then everybody is going to get um, inside your bag is a pipe cleaner, a pink one. So you just take it and you wrap it around your finger. 
like this. And then you kind of like stretch it out a little bit and figure out how long do you want your pig's tail to be. And then right at the back, you'll just put some hot glue on. that and then you'll just hold it on there and until it dries you kind of squish it down and then after it dries you can kind of stretch it out a little bit to see how boingy you want your pig's tail to be so um some of you decided that you wanted to make your pig a bank so you would just take a knife and Find a spot right between the pig's ears and make a little slot with a knife right there. You don't have to make it a bank. That's up to you. So I did a sample on my pig. I just put the hole right there. So if you use it as a pig and you get it all filled up, you'll, you'll have to cut a hole all the bottom to get all your money out. But um, it's up to you. Bank or no bank. So... These are all in your bags. I hope you guys have a great time finishing them. I'm really bummed that we didn't get to do it in class, but I bet you you're just as bummed as I am. So um, I will see you guys on Friday, and Miss Conley is going to be sending out emails telling about the time frames and stuff like that. So all that important business is coming in an email. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.